So I live in Tokyo. As you may know, the public transportation system here is super, super efficient. You can go anywhere you want, just need to hop on the train or even the bus. Everything is always on time, and everyone follows the rules. Yes, I love Tokyo. But if you're going to travel outside of the city, you may want to think about taking a car. Because the train and bus can't get you everywhere you want to go. So this is my story about renting a car. Good morning, guys. So today, we're going to Izu. I'm super sick, but we're going to journey through it anyway. Time to go. She was super nice, and now we're good to go. One of the things that's kind of terrible today is I'm sick, but also it's like prime allergy season, so also there's just a lot of pollen in the air. So we're gonna try to struggle through this. Oh look, Michael has her mask on. Shibuya Crossing as a driver. It's pretty cool. All right, that was kind of stressful. We're finally on the freeway. I'm not a very good driver, so, especially in Tokyo, I've been driving for quite some time in the US, so a bit unsure of myself when I'm driving through the Tokyo city streets. As you can see with my two hands on the wheel and my upright posture at the moment. We're about to go to a service area. It's called Abina. It's one of the more popular, largest ones in um, just outside of Tokyo. We already got some snacks, but maybe we can find something cool there. But I don't really want to stop because I'm trying to feel this, you know, freeway vibe, feeling safe. But yeah, we'll, we'll do a little stop and show you guys what it's like. Oh, cool. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still used to the... Oh, that's so cool. Hey, I've never seen this one. Do you want a $5 cup of coffee? 500 Really? So look, the world's first. Oh, uh, I think it's because it? the coffee, when it comes out, it comes with an actual cap on top of it. Look. It actually shows what's available and what's not. Red means occupied, blue means vacant. It's so cool, so efficient. I love Japan. Dude, check out this toilet. This could quite possibly be the coolest toilet ever in Japan. It's so freaking awesome. Let's see ocean. We're halfway to Izu. Michael and I were gonna go to the bathroom, but we found this cool little strip um, right by the ocean. We're gonna go and ride a little bit, and then we'll be back on our way. So this is one of the reasons I really love getting out of Tokyo is because you can find spots like this where you can just kind of like chill and hang out. Even though we live in Tokyo, it's just nice to 
to get out of the city sometimes. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. That was a good session. Time to get on the road. Bro, look at this. It's like a natural onsen. Ow. It's hot? Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. I mean, more than warm, it's hot. It's so cool how they made this thing. So this is like one of the reasons. Michael and I, we were just driving along and we go, oh, hey, there's a beach. And then we came across this little, like, private onsen. Well, it's not so private. <laughs> it's more like public, but. Another reason why renting a car has its advantages over taking the train in Japan is being able to eat at places like this. This place is freaking awesome. The food is really good. Michael got, you know, said with fish because fish is a delicacy here in Izu. I had some fried pork. It was really good. You wouldn't be able to check out if you're on a train. You wouldn't even see them if you're on the train. I have to take a little break. Getting a little bit tired. I need to get some monster in me. I knew that I was falling asleep. Don't want to fall asleep on the road. Now we're off. On Sundays, trying to get back into Tokyo, there's just so much traffic. Just needed to take a little break and wake up a little bit. Oh, so stressful this freaking thing is. But we're in Shibuya, we're back home. I think we just gotta return this car. Hi, Kanichiwa. Hi, I know, regular. Not bad, 2,700 yen. Hi, nice always. All right, we've just returned the car all the way from Tokyo to Izu and back. I hope you enjoyed our rental car adventure. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you have any questions, comments about where we went or about just renting a car in general, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to subscribe, like always, subscribe. See you guys soon.